What's up everyone? My name is Dr. Daniel Ricciardi. I'm a functional medicine practitioner, licensed pharmacist, and fitness enthusiast. I help clients with bloating, gas, and other digestive issues so they can look and feel their best. If you're having trouble with digestive issues and are looking for natural things that can help with a lot of symptoms, you may have come across a product or just a type of products known as digestive bitters or maybe more commonly known just as bitters. This video is going to discuss what they are, how they work, and then how you should be taking them. Bitters are a type of herbal supplement that are designed to help with the digestion of food and also to help get rid of digestive issues such as bloating, gas, and indigestion. Digestive bitters are a mixture of a variety of different plant materials. And what makes the digestive bitters actually what they are is that they're soaked in either a strong alcohol or a vinegar-based solution. And by doing this, this really helps extract the bitterness and the herbs and plant materials. Bitters work by stimulating the digestive system, and this includes increasing the amount of digestive enzymes, bile, and stomach acid that are produced right before you eat. Some common digestive bitters that you may find on the market include angelica root, artichoke leaf, black walnut, cardamom, dandelion root, fennel seed, gentian root, and caraway seed. There's definitely other ones. These are just some common ones that you'll see. The specific ingredients can vary from product to product. Some products that you'll find contain only a single type of digestive bitters, while others have a variety of different herbs and plant ingredients in each product. In terms of types of digestive bitters, the most common type is what's known as a liquid tincture, which is a liquid glass bottle most likely, and you draw up a little bit with a little dropperette, pipette thing, whatever they're called, and that would be how you take the dose. There's also capsules that have the herbs in them. They don't really typically work the same way as a true digestive bitter because it's not gonna be used in the same manner. I'll talk a little bit more about this later. But to take digestive bitters in that little liquid tincture form, you're gonna put a small amount and drop it onto your tongue. The dose can vary from product to product, but typically it's between one milliliter to five milliliters. And just to give a comparison, if you're not familiar, it's about a quarter teaspoon to one whole teaspoon is a, a typical dose for these. So drop this amount onto your tongue about 10 to 30 minutes before you eat and kind of swish it around your tongue so you coat the whole thing. Hold these bitters on your tongue for about 10 to 15 seconds. And after that, they're perfectly safe to swallow as well. And what this does is by holding those bitters on your tongue and coating the whole thing, it activates all the bitter taste buds on your tongue. This signal reaches the brain and it tells the body, specifically the areas involved with digestion, such as the mouth, such as the stomach, such as the pancreas, such as the gallbladder, that should be releasing more digestive juices to prepare for the meal that's about to be eaten. And this includes in the mouth, it's saliva, stomach and stomach acid, uh, pancreas, it's digestive enzymes. No, some digestive enzymes are also produced in the small intestines, uh, kind of both organs are responsible for that. And then the gallbladder is releasing bile. Like I said, this is done a little bit before you eat, typically about 10 to 30 minutes before your meal. If you do wanna take them after the meal because you notice that most of the symptoms are after the meal or it's just something you want to try, they are safe to be taken after the meal as well. In this case, you would take them in the same exact manner after you eat. And I mentioned capsules briefly before. This would be the time if you did have the capsules that you wanted to take, this is the time that they would probably be more helpful to take because they're not a true bitter, they don't have the actual apple cider vinegar or the alcohol, so they're not gonna be stimulating those digestive secretions before the meal. So if you have a capsule and you wanna try them after the meal is probably when they're gonna be the most helpful for reducing gas and digestive issues. A couple additional benefits of digestive bitters include supporting the liver and increasing detoxification in the body. And the other one includes reducing sugar cravings, which is pretty interesting. When your body feels that bitter taste on the tongue, it actually blocks out the receptors in the brain that crave sugar. And this just makes sugary foods less desirable and reduces the kind of urge to eat them. Who should be careful when taking digestive bitters? I would say anybody that is experiencing active stomach ulcers or gastritis 
this, which is just an inflammation of the lining of the stomach. It would be from a variety of reasons, but if you feel significant sharp pain when you're eating food, this may indicate that. So always be very cautious if these things are the case. You do choose to try digestive bitters. Always start with the lowest dose anyway. For most products, it will be around one milliliter and maybe less depending on the one that you choose, but always start slow and taper up and not exceed the maximum dose that's listed on the bottle or each product. Some potential products of digestive bitters can include a dry or just numb feeling mouth. They can have a little bit of like an icy hot menthol type sensation. This can include like a chilly sensation, feeling cool sensation in the throat. And although they're meant to help with all sorts of digestive issues, for some people, they actually do make the digestive symptoms worse. Uh, this can include nausea, heartburn, constipation, diarrhea, and a variety of others. Digestive bitters can interact with some medications such as thyroid medications. They're known to actually lower the level of the thyroid hormone. So because of this, it's definitely recommended to space out when you take bitters from when you take the thyroid medication by at least an hour or so. If you're familiar or have taken medications, specifically thyroid medications, you do know that many medications interact with thyroid. So this isn't something that's gonna be incredibly surprising. And if you do choose to take them together, even on the same day, I'd probably just recommend checking your thyroid labs at least every three to six months if you're not doing so already. A final note, I wanted to talk about how long you should be taking digestive bitters for or can you get addicted to them? There's not really a definitive answer on this. I would say for any digestive supplement such as this, something that's not really going to be working to resolve the root cause of why you have the issue, I would maybe try taking it for a few months, say three to six months, and then after this period of time, if it has been helping, see if you can start tapering off and maybe those problems that you experienced before are no longer there. Because when taking supplements, we want to take them realistically for a short period of time. Then as we resolve the root cause, we'd hope to be able to wean off these other supplements because nobody wants to be taking something for their entire life, especially if they don't have to. That is everything I have for you today on digestive bitters, what they are, how they work, and how to take them. Let me know if you have any questions on them below here in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. I post a new full length video every Monday at 6 p.m. Central Time. Thanks so much for watching and have a great week.